The Random Jottings of Donald J. in Nelson in Bendel, Lancashire. Ex Twistle Hall near Burnley. In 1190, Richard Melbis, a Norman baron, was in possession of Ex Twistle, but later it became the property of the Kirkstall and Newbo Abbeys. It was subsequently leased to John Parker of Monk Hall, and Richard Townley. On the dissolution of the monasteries in 1537, it was acquired by William Ramsden, and then resold to Robert Parker. Standing high on X Twistle, more roughly halfway between Haggate and Worston, X Twistle Hall was built in the 16th century in the Tudor style, and another wing was added later. The Parker family gained prominence in local affairs, and two of its members became sheriffs of the county. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth I the dubious sport of bull baiting was at its height and a bull ring was situated in the vicinity of the hall. The bullstone, a bulky piece of millstone grit is now built into a nearby wall. There is little doubt that Edmund Spencer made the journey from nearby Hurstwood to witness the sport, and a verse from, The Fairy Queen, lends credence to this fact. Like. A wilder bull that being at a bay, is baited of a mastiff and a hound, any a cur dog, the doe him sharper say on every side, and beat about him round. The Parker family lived at the hall for about two hundred years, and it was a curious but tragic accident that severed their association with X Twistle. On Thursday, March 17, 1718, Captain Robert Parker went out shooting on a day that turned out to be wet and stormy. Consequently at the end of the day's sport he returned to the house thoroughly drenched with rain. He removed his greatcoat and laid it in front of the fire to dry. Unfortunately, he had omitted to remove his powder flask that still contained a large quantity of gunpowder and the result was that an explosion took place. Captain Parker, along with two of his daughters, Mary Townley and Betty Atkinson, and a child, were seriously injured and there was considerable damage to the dining room in which the accident happened, and two other rooms were set on fire. Unfortunately, Captain Parker succumbed to his injuries and died a month later. After this tragedy the family moved to another residence, Curden Hall, and the old house at X Twistle appears to have been abandoned to dilapidation, although part of it was occupied as a farmhouse. A more unlikely tale records that the same Captain Parker, when returning from a Jacobite meeting late one evening, saw a goblin funeral procession pass through the gate at the top of Netherwood Fields. The ghostly cavalcade passed Avon in deep silence, a train of little men bearing the coffin, on top of which, as it passed, he saw his own name inscribed. In 1902, in a lecture to the Burnley Literary and Scientific Club, Mr. Tetus Wilkinson, the sage of Rogerham, said, in bygone days it was a generally accepted superstition that the devil could be raised by reciting the Lord's Prayer backwards, and woe betide the raisers who did not manage to give him a task he could not do. It is said that some country people raised his satanic majesty at Lee Green, near X Twistle. In this instance he accomplished every task put before him. Terror and dismay filled the minds of the unlucky bumpkins as the time was fast drawing nigh when he would claim his recompense. At this awful moment, they bethought themselves to fetch a priest from Townley, who arrived just in the nick of time when the devil vanished in a flash of lightning at the sight of his mortal enemy, who duly laid the foe of man with bell and book at the foot of Lee Green's car, where he rests still this day. Sadly, this once fine hall is now in decay, if nothing is done and done quickly it will be lost forever. Poem by Donald J. X Twistle Hall, standing high and proud, on moorland wild and wind-swept cloud, a Tudor style in beauty grand, built by the Parker family's hand. Bull-baiting sport once filled the air, a bullstone now, a remnant rare, of days long past, of sights and sounds, Edmund Spencer may have been around. A tragic accident, a fatal blow, Captain Parker's life cut short, we know, a great coat left too close to fire, a powder flask, a deadly ire. The family left, the house in ruin, a goblin tail, a ghostly funeral procession, raised by country folk with dire intention, the devil subdued, 
a priest's intervention. But now the hall in decay and lost, if not restored, its beauty will exhaust, let's preserve this piece of history, a treasure for all eternity.